Okay, I just want to do a sort of a supplementary video to the other one that I just uh, presented about using the AM signal from the, the old military radio net to confirm the, um, the good performance of the 10 pole crystal filter in the Mythbuster. Um, what will be a transceiver right now is just a receiver. All right, so let me, sh I've drawn up this little chart because uh, a picture or diagram is, is often worth a thousand words. And the old ARRL SSB books recommend doing something like this. They have you actually cut out something that shows a, a little window as the pass band. I, I didn't go that far. But what I'm going to show you here is, look, suppose we have a, we have AM signals on 3885, which is where the old military radio net operates. So that's the carrier, and they're not suppressing the carrier here. So the carrier is 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 full full blast, and you can you can hear it. And then you have sidebands coming off upper and lower sidebands. And I have this thing going up four KCs and down four KCs, eight KCs wide, which is I guess conservative uh, for the uh, the AM signals. But oh, okay, about right. And so there's all, these frequencies are varying in here, and that's the uh, the audio. Now, down below, I have a representation of where my beat frequency oscillator is, and I have mine on the, um, on the Mythbuster set at uh, 5239 uh, kilohertz. And the 10-pole crystal filter provides sort of a window that signals can get through. And mine are, mine's in this range right in here, right? And the, the, the skirts are rather steep. So I have it represented. Perhaps I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the steepness. But that's, that's a good representation. Now, when I turn my tuning dial, as you see me doing in the other video, in essence, what I'm doing is I'm moving this thing up and down relative to the BFO, and relative to the crystal pass band. In other words, when I have it all lined up and it's zero beat, the 3885 signal is being transformed, mixed down to 5239, and there's zero beat. So we hear the, the we hear the zero beat, and then the audio sounds good because the audio is coming through and it's being, it's not sounding like Donald Duck chatter. It's sounding like human voice right here. So let's let's look what happened where. You'll see in the first video where I tune in one direction and the uh, the carrier becomes very obvious. That's when I'm tuning and basically moving this signal up here. Now, look, that strong carrier is in the passband, it's getting through. Not only that, it's off in frequency from the beat frequency oscillator, so there's a tone, a strong tone. That's why when I tune in that direction, you hear whoop. It goes up, right? You could hear it. And, okay, so then I go back to zero beat. Now you can't hear it, but now you hear the voices normally. Now when I tune in the other direction, this way, you don't hear any of the carrier coming through. Look, the gap, the frequency gap between the BFO and the, the carrier is still there, but the carrier is not making it through. It's not making it through to the product detector. It's um, it's being cut off by the crystal, so that's why I say the skirt, the skirts here are doing a good job. And then I go back to to zero beat, and I can hear the voices again. Now when I'm down here, uh, um, you you uh, you don't you don't hear the carrier, but you do hear the audio, but it's distorted. It sounds like Donald Duck talk. This audio is making it through, but it's not in the proper relationship to the carrier, which is the carrier's down here, so it sounds like Donald Duck. All right, now let's take a look at another situation in which I have a, a crystal filter that's not quite as steep in terms of the skirts as this one. And I've drawn up another one here, and again, it's kind of exaggerated, but it gives you the idea what I'm talking about. So look, here we have a crystal filter. It's got the same kind of width of the pass band, except the skirts are wider, and some of the skirts go across to the other side. So in this one, when you tune this way, whoop, you'd hear the sound. You go back to zero, be, <laughs> you 
you like the audio <laughs> that I'm producing. But now, now when you tune this way, you start, you'll, you'll hear it a little bit. Look, and the reason is, look, that here you have a difference between this signal and this signal. So there's going to be a tone, there's going to be a beat in the beat frequency oscillator. But also, look, because of the skirt, some of that carrier signal is going to make it through the filter to the product detector. So that's why, and a, a lot of receivers are like this, where the skirts are, are wider, and you can hear um, a bit of the carrier on either side of zero beat, all right? But not so with the, uh, the Mythbuster, because I produced a 10-pole crystal filter that has almost SDR-like brick wall like they say, nearly vertical skirts. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on in that other video. And I hope this little video helps explain it. 7-3.